all right guys so we we'll quickly move into the next uh, drug um we're talking about some enzymes right but um i got to hear the word dna gyrus dna gyrus topoisomerase 4 topoisomerase 4 when i was reading about fluoroquinolones right so we'll talk about these enzymes okay so for these enzymes um well basically uh, these enzymes are actually what essential or important okay in the growth of the dna <coughs> yeah replication transcription do you understand and making other copies of itself so dna gyrus and topo isomerase 4 they are all types of what type 2 topo isomerases so the two of them they actually call them topo iso they like topo isomerase 2 so they play crucial roles in bacterial dna replication and supercoiling so why we actually study these enzymes is let me just break the ball we study them because there are some drugs that since these enzymes are so important you develop some drugs that will basically come and attack them that's the fluoroquinolones you understand so DNA gyrus introduces what negative super calls into the DNA, reducing topical and topological strain during replication and or transcription. Mechanism is um, it cuts both strands of DNA, pass, passes another segment through the brick and reseals it. Structure is composed of what uh, GRYA and two GRYB. So it's essential for bacterial F survival. Right, so it's target for what quinolone antibiotics like ciprofloxacin. Like are seen. You understand? So topo isomerase four now is primarily responsible for what decantination. That's unlinking of two replicated DNA uh, strands. Mechanism is similar to DNA gyrus, but does not introduce negative supercurves. Structure consists of what two. PARC then two PARE subunits. So it works alongside the DNA gyrus to relieve supercoiling, then ensure chromosome segregation. Okay, so that's just it for these two. Right, so you can see the other two prior summaries. So it's a target for what fluoroquinolones, or you can see quinolones in general. Okay, so that's it.